Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on how to set up your first quest. So you're in a game maker and you want to set up a quest for your player. Um, the place you do that is in a rules button up the top. Here you can have a, a welcome screen, a quest screen, victory and defeat. So the welcome screen, when you don't have it ticked and you press tab, the player will automatically be playing the game. Whereas if you had this ticked, there is now a welcome camera that rotates around the avatar and it shows you how many assets are in the game. You can even put down a description, so my first level, and here you have a level description, uh, complete the quest to win a reward. And you can even add some music if you want to. Now if we test that out, the player will uh, be presented with this screen which has a description and you can move and then the player begins. So that's a welcome screen setup. Now for the quests. So you tick that on to start your quest system and you click add quest. This will bring up your first quest. You can drop that down and um, and collapse it. You can also add another quest and have multiple quests like that. So we'll open up the first one and write my first quest and we'll make a description for the quest. Collect three items. Now to have the quest unlocked straight away means that you don't have to wait for a message to be sent before the player can get to it. I'll describe more about that later. At the moment, to launch the quest, if we let that auto launch and we press tab, as soon as the player begins, the quest pops up straight away. So it doesn't need to be triggered by any event uh, and both of them will be uh, triggered. So what we can do here is we'll get rid of the second quest for now so there's less confusion and for this one we don't want it to auto launch when the game starts we want it to require a message and that message can be anything you want um, for this example we will put the message quest one quest one uh, then below that you can select what type of quest it's going to be so the quest type is here you can have a counter, which is um, a counter for collected objects or death of an asset. You can also have asset death, so it waits for something to be destroyed before it completes. You can have a timed event, and you can also wait for a message before it completes. In this example, we're going to do a counter. So we want to collect some objects. Uh, those objects can be anything as long as it has a tag. Um, so we'll put the tag uh, quest one dot object, and we want to collect say three of them. Now in the quest up here, we've got collect three items, so we want to make sure it matches. Uh, then we can go ahead and copy that, and then we'll go ahead and have a. Uh, we'll select something from our library. We'll have our man in black nice and easy. We'll go ahead, select him. We'll get rid of any behaviors and components that are on it. And we'll give him a asker behavior. And he will be a quest giver. And we will have a question say, are you ready to begin the quest? Question mark. Yes or not yet. And we'll get rid of that and edit the logic. And we'll have the quest one dot start to be the message. So when you talk to this character, you press E to interact. He'll ask you a question. Do you want to begin the quest? If you select yes, it will send a message quest one dot start. If you say not yet, it will send A2, but A2 won't do anything. 
Now we'll go ahead to the rules button again and bring up our quest. Now it says here for the message required, uh, we got quest one. We'll change that to quest one dot start. Whoops, we can change that to start. And now we will test what happens when we press tab. So we'll go ahead and talk to the quest giver. Are you ready to begin the quest? We say yes. And the quest pops up, my first quest. And it'll pop up on the right to say collect three items. Now we don't have the three items, so we're gonna go ahead and put them down. So the items can be anything. Let's just use this TV. We'll put the TV down. We'll go ahead and give it the tag, which was quest one object. So when we pick up that object, we need it to be collectible. And that's it. Now control D to duplicate it three times. And we can go ahead and test that out. So we'll go and start the quest. The quest will pop up and the player can now collect it as you can see and now the quest is complete nice and easy now the quest is complete we'll go back to the message we have auto complete or we can have requires message or when the auto completes we can send a message so the message it's sending is quest default complete it's all caps, we don't want that. So what we'll do here is we can type in quest2.start if you want to start another message straight away. I mean another, another quest straight away. So quest2.start is the message that we'll send when you complete the quest. And we can go ahead and collapse that, add another quest my second quest um, kill three objects we want that to auto launch we want it to be a counter we will have it on depths and we'll have uh, quest two as a tag and we'll have three of them because we just want to kill three objects uh, and we want that to launch when it requires the message quest 2 which is the message that gets sent when you complete the first quest quest 2 dot start and we'll go ahead and collapse that we'll make sure that is the correct message quest2.start it is caps uh, so you got to make sure it's capitals otherwise it won't work and we'll go ahead and test that now we will talk to our NPC he says it's my first quest we will collect the three objects it completes and it automatically starts the second quest and you can go ahead and put three objects down that you can kill uh, which has a tag. So we can go ahead and show you that as an example. Um, it could be anything you want. It could be a plant or a car. We'll put down the ambulance because it's fun. We'll go ahead and just give it one health and it will have the tag. Uh, what did we put the tag as? Was it quest to something or other? Just quest two. Okay, we'll copy that. We need three of these. And we'll duplicate and duplicate. Excellent. So we'll go ahead and test that again. So the first quest pops up. You can collect the object beforehand. It will still count it. Now the second quest has popped up. We'll go ahead and kill the objects. And you can see that's worked. And the quest is complete. Uh, you can go ahead and type in quest inside of the marketplace if you don't have it already to bring up a quest markup. So you can put this object above the player so you know, I mean the quest giver so the player knows to come and get the quest. You go ahead and give it a 
plant behavior and you put in the def message which is quest one dot start so when we begin the quest it will start the quest as well as kill the marker above its head and we have the first quest now what happens if you want to come back hand in the quest before it starts the second one well we can do that we will go back to the rules and we won't make it auto complete we need to wait for a message and that message here will be quest one dot hand in so we're going to hand in that quest before it triggers the second quest okay awesome now it's a bit hard to get it done on a um, on the same NPC uh, so you have to do tricks like duplicate um, and then we add a toggle behavior on it and we'll turn that off and we don't want it to uh, toggle with the word trigger so we'll go ahead and make that none excellent uh, we will change the message to well done so now to turn this on this is the tricky part So once you collected the objects, it will wait for a message before it completes. But we need something that will still trigger the toggle once we collected the three objects. So the quest one dot object is what we need to toggle on this. So how do we do that? Now we're going to use another technique I used in another tutorial, which is the three doors to the one key. So you're going to have to go ahead and create that system here so i do recommend looking at that video once you collected the three keys or in this case three objects a message gets sent to open up a door in that video there you will not send it to open a door but to toggle this behavior on which means he will be able to answer uh be spoken to right now you can't speak to him because the toggle behavior is off so once you do the three key and door system here um, with these as the tags then you can switch it on once the three is collected to hand in the quest so here you just go ahead and when you say yes uh, here you'll put quest one dot hand in to complete the quest so it's a little bit tricky with the toggle behaviors you need to blend in two different skill sets to make it work but i want you guys to learn uh, how these techniques work on your own so you can think about these solutions yourself uh, but have a look at that other video to get that system working uh, i hope that has been useful uh, if you have any questions send me a, a a message on discord and i'll help out thanks for watching have a great day